Welcome to this demonstration of the functional view in the EcoStructure Control Expert software. This feature will help you organize your application into a tree structure, making it easier to locate sections, animation tables, and operator screens in a group of folders. Please bear in mind that this is a basic demonstration, not intended to replace any formal product training. The user might also need to adapt the example shown to the actual project requirements. Let's begin by finding the documentation about the functional view feature. I recommend you download the complete set of user guides for Control Expert, which are all grouped into a single zipped file at the URL address shown here. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the files, open the index.html file, which will give you access to the starting page where the user guides are distributed in folders for each product. Then go and open the folder for Control Expert Classic, and then the subfolder for Control Expert Software. The manual that you're looking for is Control Expert Operating Modes. From here, you have the option to open the embedded user guide that has been downloaded with all the group of user guides. However, this is not always the latest version. So if we go back to our index of manuals, you'll notice there's the URL address, which you can copy and paste in your browser. In this way, you'll be sure to always find the latest version of the manual. Now you can click on the manual to download it locally. And as you can see in this example, the manual that is available online has a most recent date than the one that was downloaded with the group of user guides. Lastly, to find the information for the functional view feature, I happen to know that at page five in the index is where we will find all of the technical information. Simply click on the link to go and find the details in the user guide. Now, in order to demonstrate the use of the functional view feature, I would like to use one of the example projects that's already installed by default when you install the Control Expert software. So I'm going to use the demonstration project for a Control Expert M580 controller. And once we open the project, remember that it has been opened as a view only file or view only project. So we will need to save it with another name in order to be able to do some modifications. So I'll go ahead and just save this project with another name. Just give it the same name as before with test at the end to understand the difference. And once we have done that, you'll notice at the top, read only will no longer be displayed. So now we can modify this project. Now you'll notice that the project browser is going by default to be shown in the structural view, which is also going to be available or displayed when you click on the icon right next to the icon for functional view. So let's click on the functional view icon to see the difference. So you'll see that in the initial state of a project, there, are, there aren't any folders created under the functional project a tree organization, what we can do is right click on that first folder and then create new functional module. Then you'll accept to, to do the modification and you can simply give a name to that first functional module. Let's call it washer. This will now automatically create a series of internal folders that are part of the functional module in which we can link our logic sections, our animation tables, and operator screens. So we'll do another example. Let's call it tank number one and a third functional module called tank two. Once we have done that, we can either go back to our structural view, or we can even display them one next to the other with the icon to display the views vertically. So now our objective is to link our newly created functional modules to some of our logic sections, in this case, in the masked task as well as some animation tables, and if we would want to do that, some operator screens. One way to do it is to modify the properties of each one of these objects. So if I right click on this uh, logic section, I will select 
properties and then you will see that in the localization tab you can select the functional module that you want to use in this case washer so now we can click on OK. The moment I do that, you will notice that on the functional project side, now this section of logic has been associated or linked to our first washer functional module. Now we can follow the same method for an animation table. Right click, select properties, and then on the functional module drop down menu, you can select in this example also the washer functional module. Click OK and you will see it appear in the list of tables for that functional module. Lastly, we can also associate our operator screens with the functional module. So I'll follow the exact same procedure by modifying the screen properties. And then at the very bottom of that first tab, you'll find as well the drop down menu to associate this operator screen with a functional module. And as before, we will see it appear all as part of the washer functional module. Now there is also a second method to be able to link our sections of logic, animation tables and operator screens to any functional module that we have created. And it's a drag and drop method. So in this case, let's test that by moving one of our logic sections to the tank one functional module. We can also do the same for the animation tables. And finally, we can also associate one of the operator screens with the tank one functional module. One more tip that could be helpful on how to organize the way that sections are viewed in the structural view would be through the use of user directories. In this example, I will click in the group of sections of the mass task and select add user directory. This is basically a label that is just placed in order to add some information uh, as to what is the use of a certain group of sections. So in this example, let's just call it mixer process. Uh, you can also add a comment onto this user directory. And then you can just simply drag into the place that is desired to have this label just uh, placed within the sections. This concludes our presentation. I hope you have enjoyed it and that it will help you to be more productive when using EcoStructure Control Expert.